Tetanus is a really horrible disease. It's caused by a bacterium, which is everywhere around us. It's in, it's in the soil. And it's called Clostridium tetani. And what that can do is it gains entry into the horse uh, through wounds, or for example, in a young foal, it might get in through the umbilicus. Once it's inside the body, it produces a variety of different toxins, um, the most important of which affects the nerves and the muscles. So the toxins are, are transported from wherever they are forming, perhaps in a wound, and they um, spread through the body and um, they essentially cause the muscles to go into spasm. So what you might see are uh, a very stiff horse with a, a short stilted gait. Sometimes they're unable to rise and they will they'll be very um, stretched out and with their back arched. The nostrils will be flared, the, um, the ears are very erect, and, and because it affects the muscles in the face, the, um, the muscles of mastication they're called, the, the horse is unable to move its jaw, hence the old-fashioned name lockjaw. Another sign that, that's particular to tetanus is that the third eyelid, that little pink flap of tissue, um, which you'll see in the corner of a horse's eye, that will stand out because that muscle gets very, very tense. The toxins can also affect the heart. And um, in fact, because of the impact on the muscles that are involved in respiration, the horse may be unable to breathe. So I can't emphasize enough really how awful the disease is when, when a horse or um, pony or foal is affected by it. And the thing with um, tetanus, I think it's very easy to forget about. It seems old fashioned and you probably have never heard of anyone having a case of um, tetanus, um, but it does still occur in the United Kingdom. Not very often, but the important point is that when it does occur, it's a high likelihood that the horse will die. It's also extremely easy to prevent tetanus. This is a, a disease that can be uh, prevented with vaccination. Um, or at least the risk is substantially reduced by vaccination. And really every horse and pony in the United Kingdom should be vaccinated against um, tetanus. You'll find that a lot of vets will include um, tetanus antitoxin when they are asked to look at a newborn foal. Um, newborn foals don't have good immune um, responses, so they can't be vaccinated and therefore um, we give tetanus antitoxin, particularly if the foal's mother has not recently had a vaccine. And of course, a better idea is to make sure that its mother has had a vaccine um, and is well up to date before falling. And that way she will be making antibodies that will pass to the foal in the first few hours of life through the colostrum. So the key messages I'd like to get across about tetanus is it's extremely important. You should never forget about it. It still happens, it's really horrible, and it really shouldn't be happening. It's preventable with vaccination.